Hi everyone, my name is Billy. I'm here to discuss the my experience taking the Cisco CCENT, also known as the ICND one. I recently passed right before the holidays with a 920 out of a thousand. This was my second time taking the exam. The first time I got uh, about a 700. I was a little disappointed, but that's okay. I went back to the drawing board, knocked it out the second time. Um, this, uh, the reason that I took the exam in two parts was because I wanted to build up my confidence. So took the CSENT, passed that. Uh, now I am back to studying for the CCNA, the ICND2. And because I passed the CSENT, I'm uh, extremely confident that the CCNA will be no problem. That's the reason that I broke them up into two. Um, definitely was to build my confidence. The, uh, I'll talk about some of the study materials that I used and just uh, some tips and things. Uh, what I did was I attended the Cisco Networking Academy at my college, which was a great experience. It was a one-year program, and after I completed the program, I took about two months off before I began studying for the CCENT. And that's okay. I needed to just give my mind a break. Take a little refresher. I uh, went back and the first book that I studied was this book. The uh, CCNA Study Guide, written by Todd Lamley. This is an older version. I don't know if it's better to use an older version or a newer version. I'm sure maybe they're probably the same. The information is probably the same. Uh, after I read that book, I went ahead and studied or read the self-study guide, part one, ICND one. This is an old version as well. I received a lot of books and information from a bunch of network engineers that I know. They were so kind to give me a lot of information. There's so much information out there that you can, your mind can just go crazy. Like, where do I begin? What should I read? But I would suggest uh, using what works best for you. I enjoy these books. These books are great. I would read, I read this first book maybe twice in my free time. And on car rides, I just love reading Cisco books. It just makes me happy. I love learning about Cisco. It's, it's really cool. So I went ahead and did that. There are also, I would suggest going to cisco.com. They have a lot of good study information. I did some training videos maybe two years ago with, through train signal that was great it's a lot of information a lot of people use cbt nuggets i i didn't use cbt nuggets i just used what worked best for me and just went with it and rocked it out and just overstudied read a lot of the same information over and over i didn't kind of go all over the place i just stuck to uh, these things that i just talked about and just kind of focused on those now, the exam, some say it's not that difficult. It just depends. You definitely want to get your subnetting down, like back, forth, sideways, front, whatever tricks you use for subnetting, whatever works best for you, definitely study that. That's going to be huge. Also, you need to understand how to connect a network from host to host. You know, I don't want to go too much into it, uh, but you definitely need to understand the connections of, of a network. The uh, That's going to be extremely important uh, for passing the exam. Now, what's next for me is to study. I will read this book, the part two for the CCNA, ICND2. I haven't started yet. Actually, just browse through it. I'll read that maybe two or three times. Just 
in my free time, I read Cisco books. I watch Cisco videos. Just anything related to networks um, is fun for me. That's what I do in my free time. It, it, it's great. So I would definitely suggest like studying as much as you can. This is, this is very important. You've got to understand this information and, and just have it in your brain and be able to explain it to another person in a way that they can understand. That's huge. Well, uh, that's, that's about all that I have for you in this video. I hope that you subscribe and continue to watch my videos. I will have more coming. In the meantime, happy studying. Again, my name is Billy. Thank you for watching.